Teenagers across America are playing with a new and frightening game, Satanism. Their school books are marked up with satanic symbols, upside down crosses, pentagrams, the number 666. Their fashions glamorize the demonic. They are seduced by heavy metal heroes, many of whom feature satanic imagery in their songs and album covers. For some of these young people, the fixation on violence, evil and death leads them to commit abominable crimes, including suicide and human sacrifice. Joseph Beeson, 18, and Edward Bennett, 19, both raised in Mormon homes, drew blood from their own veins and mutilated animals in satanic rituals. But that wasn't enough, so they eventually killed 18-year-old Michelle Moore. Sean Sellers, 17, the youngest death row inmate in Oklahoma, brutally murdered his mother and stepfather because they tried to prevent his satanic rituals. Scott Waterhouse, 17, tortured and killed a 12-year-old girl in a grisly satanic slaughter. Pete Rowland, 17, formed a satanic cult with three other boys. After sacrificing a cat, they turned on Steve Newbury, the fourth member of their group, and beat him to death with baseball bats while chanting, a sacrifice for Satan. Richard Ramirez, the night stalker, was convicted of 13 murders and 30 other felonies. During the summer of 1985, he beat, strangled, raped, sodomized, shot, and slashed his victims in a rampage of sadistic, satanic slayings. In the spring of 89, the dead bodies of 13 victims, one of whom was only 16 years old, were found mutilated and buried in a common grave near the American-Mexican border in Matamoros. This satanic drug smuggling cult believed that sacrificing humans in bizarre rituals would give them magical protection. The victims had been dealt blows with a hammer and some suffered horrible mutilations, including the removal of brains, hearts, and other organs that were then boiled in blood. For those of us who have been involved in cult and occult research over the years, these atrocious reports are unfortunately nothing new. They are only the tip of the iceberg. Because Satanism is by nature clandestine, it's hard to estimate the numbers of people involved. Not all satanic groups are involved in criminal behavior. But, with increasing frequency, law enforcement agencies across North America and Western Europe are receiving similar reports of illegal activity. Satanically inspired child pornography and ritual abuse, animal mutilations, human sacrificial murder, cannibalism, rape, sodomy, desecration of graves and Christian churches are just some of the findings. Victims are from all walks of life. Their stories are grotesque and beyond human belief. The purpose of this video is not to over-sensationalize a hideous subject, but rather to inform you of a very real problem that is sweeping across our nation. What used to be hidden or secret is now arrogantly brandished in public by Satanists who recruit openly and display macabre graffiti and gruesome mutilations in public places. In this video, we wish to educate you and your family on how to protect yourselves from the effects of Satanism.